I was chatting with someone late last week and we were talking about where they're at and they were struggling with figuring out what they wanted to do. And one of the things I've known this person for five plus years. Um, and one of the things they did uh, a couple of years back was they said, well, I'm not sure what I want to do. So I'm going to travel, right? That's a very common thing that folks do. And I think it's, it's a great thing to do. Um, at one point when I was trying to figure out what to do with my career and I was starting a small business with a buddy of mine, we were trying to see if we could make this thing work. We did a road trip around the country uh, with our podcast. And we, we were already doing interviews with people um, via Skype and stuff and, and people in Chicago, but there were people all over the country that we wanted to talk to. And uh, we thought it'd be fun to meet them in person. So we grabbed our equipment and we went around the country for six weeks um, and got to meet a lot of cool people and do a lot of cool things. But one thing people think traveling is going to do is give them clarity. They think that going on a trip will give them some insights. And from what I've seen in the, you know, kind of the eat, pray, love sort of story, what I've seen is that it doesn't typically work that way. And that's what happened in this case. The person I was chatting with said, you know, I was hoping to have an epiphany. I was hoping to have some like view into myself by going on this journey and it didn't happen. So they were a little disappointed. And I think it's an interesting thing to look at under a microscope of why. Why are we not getting these massive insights from these crazy travels, right? And I think it's because travel is an activity that is the opposite of our career, right? Going to a new place, your, your days are filled with things. You have, you have excursions to go on, locations to get to, um, tickets to purchase. There's always something going on. There's not space to really, I don't know, meditate on what it is that you're trying to meditate on. And so there's overactivity, then there's a meditative space, and then there's um, proactive activity. And so where I feel like some people won't want to sit on a pillow and meditate their way to a new career, other people want to travel their world to get to a new career. And I think both are flawed in different ways. I think the, the only way to really truly figure out what you want to do in your career is to go build a bunch of things. Go create your own projects, your own companies, your own things. I think that's the fastest possible way to find out what it is you want to do. Um, it's not for everyone. Not everyone can build their own side hustles and side projects. Not everyone can go start their own small business, consultancy company, whatever. Um, but it typically is the fastest way to get real-time feedback of whether or not you like this job. So I was chatting with this person and they were saying, you know, I, I came back and I started looking for jobs and I just sort of fell into looking at the same roles I was before. And I think that's totally fair because what else, what, what would our travels have taught us about other titles to go after, other roles to pursue, other skills to use?